In the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Welcome to your beloved school, Hussein al -Din. Hello, my dear students. I'm Mr. Muhammad Said. I hope you are all fine. And today, I'm going to present you a very important revision on units 9 and 10. I hope... It will be useful and rewarding for you. And before we start our revision, you have to revise the words of units 9 and 10. Then revise the main points of grammar 9 and 10. Let's start. Let's move to the learning objectives of unit 9. Number one, answer questions after reading a report about an orchestra. Number two, talk about ability in the present. Number three, use verb to be, able to, and know how to plus infinitive to use them in sentences. Number four, Ask about what things you like to watch and listen to. Number five, give opinions about the most useful hobbies. And now, some important expressions and prepositions. Number one, do make up. Number two, play an instrument. Number three, use a computer. Number four, give recommendations. Number five, take photos. Number six, get ready for. Number seven, be interested in. Number eight, famous for. Number nine, such as 10 it sounds fun 11 act in a play number 12 help with and now let's move to structure unit 9 entitled ability and inability in the present when we express ability and inability in the present in affirmative form, we can use can plus infinitive. For example, I can draw pictures. What about the negative form? When we use a negative form, we can use can't plus infinitive. For example, Sarah can't swim. What about the question form? We can use can plus subject plus infinitive. For example, can you write the script? When we answer, we can say yes, I can or no, I can. And we can also use be able to. In the affirmative form, we can use subject plus m is r plus able to plus infinitive. For example, I'm able to swim. They are able to run for a long time. That means I can swim. And they can run for a long time. What about the negative form? We can use subject, am not, or isn't, or aren't, able to, plus infinitive, means can't. For example, Ali isn't able to do the math homework, means Ali can't do the math homework. We aren't able to act 
in the play means we can't act in the play let's move to evaluation one choose the correct answer from a b c or d number one space is to advise someone to do something because it's good i think the right answer is recommend Number two, a space is your opinion about something. The correct answer is view. Number three, the activity of making things from clay means pottery. Number four. A space is a funny drawing, usually showing people or animals. The correct answer is cartoon. Number five. A space is a suggestion that something is good. I think it's recommendation. Number six. A or N space is someone who does paintings and drawing. Of course, he's an artist. Number seven, space means a great or fantastic. Of course, cool. Number eight. A or any space is something that is used to play music. I think the right answer is an instrument. Number nine. What people put on their faces to look nice or different means makeup. Number ten. A or N space is a painting or a drawing of a person. I think the right answer is a portrait. And now I'm going to present to you some important expressions and prepositions. Number one, on the floor. Number two, spend a long time. Number three, swear bros. Number four, make notes. Number five, a list of. Six, be in the orchestra. Seven, shout at. Eight, on a public transport. Nine, in the way. Ten, an introduction to 11 at the end and the last one throw down expressing feelings when we express feelings we can say how do you feel if someone in your family does something well of course, we can say, I feel proud. How did you feel when you saw the beautiful scenery painting? It made me feel happy. Choose the correct answer from A, B, C or D. Number one. Space means not able to see of course blind blind means not able to see number two space means not able to hear of course deaf means not able to hear
Number three, a large group of musicians playing many different kinds of an instrument means, of course, an orchestra. Number four, space means not able to use parts of the body like other people do. I think disable. Number five. A space is someone who is very good at playing music as a job. Of course, he's a musician. Number six. Space is a type of reading for the blind. Of course, the correct answer is bro. Number seven. To space is to put your arm around someone and hold them tightly to show love. Of course, hug. Number eight. To produce tears means to cry, of course. Number nine. To space means to go to a place where you can't be seen. Of course, the verb hide. And now, let's move to evaluation two which is based on Grammar Unit 9. Choose the correct answer from A, B, C or D. Number 1. Do you know how space? Of course, do you know how to act? Number 2. Space you are able to stand on one leg? Of course, the right answer is are you able to stand on one leg? Number three. Space you act or write scripts? Of course, the right answer is can you act or write scripts? Number four. They space how to play chess. They know how to play chess. Number five. A space is an opinion of a film, book, or play. Of course, it's a review. And now, let's move to the language functions of Unit 9. Number one, invitation. When you want to invite your friend to your birthday party, what would you say? You can say, I was wondering if you would like to, or would you like to? For example, I was wondering if you would like to come to my birthday party, or you can say, would you like to come to my birthday party? Number two, request. When we make a polite request, we can say, Could you, plus infinitive, please? For example, Could you bring me some food, please? Could you help me, please? Choose the correct answer from A, B, C, or D. Number one, my little son, space, able to spell difficult words in English. Of course, the right answer is, is. Number two, I'd rather space a comic film. Of course, I'd rather follow by infinitive. So, the correct answer is, watch. Number three, do you know, do you know how to make tea the English way? Number four, I suggest that 
his face, our place immediately. Don't forget that the verb suggest and recommend plus that plus subject plus infinitive. So the correct answer is leave. Number five. I recommend to spay the zoo. Don't forget that recommend followed by gerund. So the correct answer is visiting. Number six. Are you space to climb this mountain? Of course, the right answer is are you able to? Number seven. She can space the drum. Of course, she can play the drum. Number eight. I can read English, but I space know the meaning of each word. But I can't know the meaning of each word. Number nine. My mother's hobby is to sew space for plays. My mother's hobby is to sew costumes for plays. Number ten. My friend is space. He can't walk. Of course, my friend is disabled. And now, I'm going to give you some more exercises on Unit 9. To learn more about Unit 9, to achieve your goals and to get high marks. Choose the correct answer from A, B, C, or D. Number one. Let's try to write a space for the play. Let's try to write a script. Number two. Lara wore a strange space for the show. Of course, she wore strange costumes. Number three. He can't play the space well. He needs to brag more. Of course, he can't play the trampoline. Number four. Yasser drew a space of his father. Of course, he drew a portrait. Number five. She can't answer the phone as she's busy doing hair makeup. Number six, Myrna loves the piano, so she can help with music. Number seven, I'm interested in art by Egyptians from the 20th and 21st centuries. A century means 100 years. Number eight. Saleh won a space ticket for the last match. He paid no money. Of course, Saleh won a free ticket. Number nine. He used the space to make this beautiful vase. Of course, he used clay. Number ten. See him space sewing damaged clothes. Siham recommends sewing damaged clothes. Choose the correct answer from A, B, C, or D, which is based on grammar unit 9. Number 1. Space she able to drive the car by herself? Is she able to? Number 2. I space drive a car easily. Of course, the right answer is I can. Number three. My sister knows how to space pizza. How to make pizza. Number four. Does she know how to sew clothes? Number five. 
Mariam is the best at drawing. Number six. Are they space iron? Their own clothes? Are they able to? Number seven. Would you like to space to the sports club tonight? Would you like to go? Number eight. Space Ahmed able to help with music? Of course, is Ahmed able to? Number nine. Can you space a computer runner? Can you use computer runner? Number 10. Amal knows how to space the piano well. Amal knows how to plus infinitive. Of course, the right answer is play. And now, I'm going to revise. Unit 10, entitled, We Are What We Wear. The learning objectives of Unit 10. Number 1. Guess the meanings of some words about Egyptian clothes, now and in the past. Number 2. Discuss and describe clothes. Number three, shop for clothes. Number four, form sentences using adjective order. Use one singular or ones plural to replace repeated nouns. Let's know some important expression and preposition. Number one, type of means kind of. Two, best for. Three, look through. Four, good for. Five, keep warm. Six, cost a lot of money. Seven, go for a special meal. Eight, be made of nine different from ten similar to eleven look like and the last one dress in a traditional style very important notes when we want to describe a noun to more than one adjective. We have to keep in mind this arrangement. We can start with description. Like pretty, wonderful, beautiful. Number two, size. Like big, small, and so on. Number three, shade. Like long, short, loose. Number four, age. Like old, ancient, young. Number five, color. Like green, blue. Number six, material. Like silk, linen, and so on. After that, noun. For example, Salma wears a pretty long green dress. Number two, she likes wearing loose white linen clothes. Number three, the ancient Egyptians loved to wear heavy metal jewelry. Let's move to evaluation one. Choose the correct answer from A, B, C, or D. Number one. I like to be space and to feel relaxed in my clothes. Of course, the correct answer 
I like to be comfortable. Number two, these traditional clothes can be cool and protect me from the sun. Number three, Mr. and Mrs. Adley live in a big old flat in a swan. Number four, shoes are usually made of, of course, leather. Number five, most of the women like to wear space around their necks. Of course, most of the women like to wear necklaces around their necks. Number six, I like to space in a traditional style. I like to dress. Number seven, jackets. And the coats keep us warm. Number eight. The shop assistant asked me about my shoes size. Number nine. The space of most African countries is very hot. Of course, the climate of most African countries is very hot. Number 10. The best clothes are made of cotton. And now, the language notes. How can we use one and ones in sentences? We often use one instead of repeating a singular countable noun. For example, this beautiful dress is the one my grandmother made me. And we often use ones instead of repeating a plural cantal noun. For example, these trainers are much better than the ones I had before. And what about this, that, these, and those? We use this for near singular nouns. For example, look at this vase. And we use that for far singular nouns. For example, Look at that tree over there. Number three, we use these for near plural nouns. For example, I always carry all these pens with me. Number four, we use those for far plural nouns. For example, those boys in the street are my friends. Choose the correct answer from A, B, C, or D. Number one. Space means nature, plants, or animals, and everything around us. Of course, the correct answer is environment. Number two. Egypt is famous for growing space to make materials. Of course, Egypt is famous for growing crops. Number three. Cotton from Egypt is very good. It's often used to make space clothes. Loose clothes. Number four. All the cotton is spaced by hand to keep it sold. Of course, all the cotton is picked by hand to keep it sold. Number five. Paper is used to make books. Number six. 
Green energy is good for the environment. Means useful for the environment. Number seven, he's still lying. He is a space boy. Of course, a little boy. Number eight, the space by the Nile is rich enough to grow crops. The soil, of course. Number nine, we should build a new factories to improve our industry. Number ten, we should care more about the environment. Choose the correct answer from A, B, C, or D. Number one. Mona wore a nice space, which she bought from a clothes shop. Of course, she wore a nice headscarf. Number two, casual clothes make me feel space. I like them a lot. Of course, casual clothes make me feel relaxed. Number three. Ancient Egyptians used space to make clothes. Ancient Egyptians used linen to make clothes. Number four. I bought a pair of space to wear in summer instead of the shoes. I wear a pair of sandals. Number five. Factors and cars can space a lot of pollution. Of course, they can cause a lot of pollution. Number six. To space is to take something and to give it back again. To borrow, of course. Number seven. The space and the soil in Egypt are perfect. For growing cotton, of course, the climate and the soil. Number eight. What space of clothes do you like? I like traditional clothes. The correct answer is, what type of clothes do you like? Number nine. This cab. Can space you from the sun when it's hot? This cab can protect you. Number 10. This dress doesn't fit Nesma. It's a bit big. Number 11. These shoes are 44. I want a smaller size. Number 12. The object of famous is a gnome. 13. This shirt is a space. I want a smaller one. This shirt is loose. Choose the correct answer from A, B, C, or D. Number one. Space beautiful dress is made in Egypt. This. Number two. These sunglasses space a present for my birthday party. Of course, the correct answer is where. Number three. This space is my dad's. The correct answer is built. Number four. These trainers are better than the ones I saw yesterday. Number five. The black car is the one which I like most. Number six, 
Where did you find those glasses? Number seven. I bought space trainers two days ago. I bought these trainers. Number eight. They loved to wear space jewelry. According to the adjective order, the, the correct answer is heavy metal jewelry. Number nine. Hoda's father has bought a space car. A new red electric car. Number 10. We went to the island in Aran Bow. Of course, a long old wooden bow. Number 11. The American tourists were wearing space sunglasses. Big red plastic. 12. I like this space necklace. I like this pretty long necklace. 13. I bought space headscarf yesterday. I bought this headscarf. 14. Space jeans are blue. Those jeans are blue. And the last one, do you like this blue pen or that one? At the end of our session, I hope you have been very well informed. May Allah bless you. Please study hard and you will achieve the best marks. Thank you. Goodbye.